So you just got a new Huawei phone and you're excited to play your favorite apps and games with it? Well, don't worry, we got you covered. In this video, we'll help you go through setting up your brand new Huawei device and get you started right away by downloading and installing your favorite apps and games from this completely new and amazing service we just discovered. What's up everyone, it's Jose here of Yugatech and today we're going to share with you our new discovery that got us really excited and it's called Gbox. So what is Gbox? Well, the name actually means Google Box and the app basically allows any smartphone user to run multiple copies of their app on a single Android device. Since Gbox supports apps that require GMS in order to install and run, you can basically install all of them from there. That includes any of your Huawei devices, like this one. Now, you got your attention, right? So, how do you get Gbox and use it? It's pretty simple. Just go to gboxlab.com on your browser and download the app. Click on the download APK file, select install, and that's it, you're done. Now, let's go ahead and select open, click the agree button for the user agreement and privacy policy, and make sure to select disable when asked if you want to disable battery optimization. This step allows Gbox to run constantly in the background so you get time notifications from apps running through it. Now, here we are at the homepage of Gbox and you will see the Google Play Store already pre-installed. You will need to do a one-time sign-in of your Gmail account. Gbox will also ask you for additional permissions like the ones shown here on the screen, so just go ahead and select Allow. In some cases, you might not see Google Play right away. To get Google Play, just click on any of the apps shown here in the recommended apps, then click the arrow back of Google Play, then log into your Google account. Once you've signed in, you have full access to the Google Play Store and all of the apps in it. How easy was that, huh? Pretty quick and seamless, right? Now, let's go ahead and try out some of our favorite apps. One of the first we want to try is Disney+. Plus. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for this service to be available in the Philippines, so here we are right now. Once installed, you will get a prompt on the screen asking you to put it on your home screen, so just click Add. Let's open it up, and there you go. All Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and even Nat Geo shows you want to binge watch is available right now. Now, how about games, huh? Let's try installing League of Legends Wild Rift. Now, let's go ahead and check that one out too. Anyway, who are your favorite champions in Wild Rift? Mine's Zed the Assassin, Darius, and Yasuo, who I think are the best designed champions of League. Again, don't forget to add the app to your home screen to make it easier to access. Now, let's go do something a bit more serious. How about the BPI mobile app? Yep, let's try that one too. And first, let me search for it. Now that I've typed it in and installed it, let's open it up. But before that, don't forget to click add to add it to the home screen. Easy peasy, right? So that's three out of three so far and Gbox is holding the ground. How about we try downloading some Google apps? And let's start with maps. Well, that was quick, right? Now for the moment of truth. Let's open it up and see if it will run smoothly. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. You're basically set whether you want to use Google Meet, Google Drive for work, or maybe use Google Classroom for your kids' schooling. Everything is accessible via Gbox. Okay, that's enough apps to download for now. Let's do some house cleaning first. I suggest at least start putting Gbox in your primary home screen so you can see it right away and open it whenever you want to install a new app or update your existing apps. You can also set privileges to Gbox so that all new installs will show a shortcut to the app from your home screen. The quickest way to do this is by going to the Play Store and searching for the app, then checking for the update button that will appear beside it. If there's no update button, that means you have the latest version of the app installed. The other way is to manually do this by pressing down on the app for a while, clicking on upgrade while the menu appears. You can also go back to the Gbox website and check the latest version available for download. Just simply note the version number like this one or if they are using something newer. Just a quick tip, when you have two of the same apps, the other one will have a small icon at the bottom right telling you that the other one was installed via Gbox while the other app was probably installed through the Huawei App Gallery. The App Gallery will still be your main go-to app store for most of the apps you want. Gbox will simply complement App Gallery for a few apps that require GMS in order to run. Otherwise, you can install the apps via App Gallery and Gbox at the same time, and you will get two instances of the app to use separately. As a matter of fact, you can download and use Gbox on any Android smartphone you want and get the same cool benefits like this one. It's completely free to use, but of course, some of the apps require you to pay 
download, or even sign up, which you still need to do the steps. We've been getting a lot of questions from people wanting to use Gbox, so we made this quick video tutorial for you guys. But if you guys have any more questions, do let us know in the comment sections down below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and visit yugatech.com for more tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Jose of Yugatech, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.